We've lost one of the most influential, courageous, and profoundly good human beings that any of us will share time with on this earth. With those words, President Obama spoke in remembrance of human rights icon Nelson Mandela, who died this week in South Africa. The man some called the most famous political prisoner in the world, Nelson Mandela grew up in the village of Mimbezo on the Eastern Cape of South Africa. But the pastoral beauty of the land belied the vicious rule of law, apartheid, the legalized subjugation of South Africa's black population. Even so, Mandela would go on to earn a law degree and eventually become one of the leaders of the African National Congress in the 1940s, thus beginning his lifelong activism. Despite the government's determination to enforce apartheid, Mandela and the ANC were unrelenting in the push to end South Africa's version of Jim Crow. For their opposition to apartheid, Mandela and fellow ANC members were sentenced to life in prison in 1964, though at the time, Mandela declared that he was prepared to die for a free society. Mandela's call to action would be heard beyond the prison walls as demands for his release grew around the world. Governments were urged to divest their holdings in South African interests. After 27 years, Mandela was released from prison to a joyous welcome. One of his first stops on his worldwide tour was Boston, Massachusetts, home to early divestment and anti-apartheid protests. Madison Park High was filled to the rafters, and later the esplanade swelled with thousands. I must repeat once more, that I am specially grateful to you, the people of Massachusetts, for helping to lead the fight in this country for democracy in South Africa. Nelson Mandela would go on to become South Africa's first black president and would govern all the country, including his former tormentors, with compassion, stepping down in 1999, a living demonstration of democratic rule. Though Mandela remained active in retirement, he was eventually slowed by age and ill health. Just as his release from prison in 1990 commanded the world's attention, so too does his passing. Nelson Mandela was 95 years old. For Basic Black, I'm Valerie Linson.